This is a very interesting table. It was found by Dr. Moshe Kass. Dr. Moshe Kass. You can see it really. Dr. Moshe Kass. He found it. Then what you see in the table is the following. The table was done by Professor Robert Harley from New York University. And this what you see here, very, very significant table. As the site, as you can see, is in one chapter, really. Chapter 4, 22 letters, only in between. You can see all the details about it in Torah code dot us yeah this is a place toraco dot us and then you can find about Auschwitz Hitler all these long many tables about all the details now what you have here is the name Hitler you can see the names Hitler and Shoah also Holocaust you can see and you can see also Auschwitz, definitely this is a place, unfortunately, when many Jews were killed. So let us see inside these places. So here you have Hitler, Hitler coming here. Here you have Shoah, Holocaust. And if you have Auschwitz, yeah, let us do it so that you will see it properly. Here is Auschwitz. You see the Aleph here, Auschwitz, and part of Auschwitz is really Shoah again. So you have your Holocaust, Shoah, you have Auschwitz, you have Hitler, and again Shoah, which is unbelievable. As we said, it was found by Dr. Moshe Katz. Clearly indicating that everything is in the Torah. Then we'll go into the second stage, and... We are going now to another page, which is the other page. And here we see more things about the Holocaust, more tables. And this is very interesting. This is basically was asked a question in the Torah. I think it was Dr. Schwarzman. And he asked in the Torah for the question, Lama Shoah? Why Holocaust come? Because we know that the Torah tells us exactly, unfortunately, when Jews transfer the Torah, they don't keep Torah, they transgress the Torah, and transgression definitely brings a lot of anger. Amazingly, you can see clearly that you have even connection on the same thing when you ask the question, Lama Shoah? Here you have the answer. Here let us see now everything clearly. Lama Shoah, and the concern, Emunah, faith, belief in God, keeping the Torah. And all the verses around this table, as you can see in this table, tells you exactly long thing you can see here. We can see clearly in all this thing, all this thing you can see clearly, all the thing which is going on, and it is amazing to see that all these verses, right, telling us that when you are safe, <coughs> when you are safe next nation, God unfortunately will call upon, unfortunately, all these troubles that you will have. And if you go into this table, you will find so clearly all these verses about it. So it's amazing to see this table, which the addition to Dr. Schwarz and all my places, you see, I'm nine, all these things. Now, you verse while reading clearly what the Torah says about this. This is no doubt clear indication about what, unfortunately, is the reason, the cause for Holocaust and the Jewish nation, only keeping Torah properly, because everything is in the Torah. So this is an amazing table, which clearly asking questions, and the answer comes there. Now we have even more interesting thing when you look into more tables to do with the Holocaust. And this is when we go further. Yeah, we find also what Professor Rips found. Also, reason for unfortunately, as again the Torah tells us why troubles comes. 
And in this table, you can see also the words which are, you have here, Hitler, you have Auschwitz, and the desecration, and the desecration of the Shabbat, and first the desecration of holiness, as this come clearly here, as you see, Hitler and Chilud, the desecration, which brought Auschwitz, and then, when you go further into the tables, also concerning the Holocaust, we see more interesting here, we see even the desecration is mainly the desecration of Shabbat. You can see here, clearly again, you can see again, Auschwitz Hitler, and because of the desecration of the Shabbos, you know, as we said many times, that the desecration of the Shabbos brings a lot of troubles to Jews. So you have it clearly, you can see Auschwitz, you can see the desecration, right, because of Hilum Shabbat, and here we see the table itself, in which you have again, you have Hitler, as we say, yeah, Hitler coming here, Hitler, you have Hilum desecration because of, and the Shabbos, the Shabbos coming here, again, Auschwitz and Shabbos. The second desecration of Shabbat caused a lot of troubles to Jews, definitely causing the Messiah not to come, Mashiach not to come, and everything we know quite well is in the Torah. Now if we go further, in the tables that Professor Rips did, we find some more interesting tables, and this is, which is unbelievable, as we see how many words appear in the table, you can see here, Adolf Hitler, Aleph Hitler, which I found in the Aleph Hitler, and the year when the Holocaust restarted, or it was mainly the final solution, which you have here, 5, 7, or 2, and the second difference, we know quite well that Hitler was connected, then you have, also on this side, you have Auschwitz, and from 701, and the snake, and anger and fury, unbelievably, according to Kabbalah, this is the evil forces of the anger and fury which hit all the troubles which happen on Jews. So let us see now the table by itself clearly. And this is what you see. You see here Aleph Hitler. Aleph Hitler. Yes, Aleph Hitler. Which is Aleph Hitler. And you see here, as we saw before, Auschwitz. Yeah, Auschwitz coming here and five, seven, or two. And in the center, unbelievable, of anger and loss will smite. And thus see the table which I found based on Dr. Kass table. So amazing table, which again tell us that Satan and evil forces are involved, if it is not that Hitler, the book about Hitler tells us that he had a lot of connection with the Satan, like he himself even tells the story in this book. Now, when we go back to some interesting table, we can see even more table which have to do, and this is the table which have in it, as we said before, all this thing, and again with Auschwitz and all the what we said before. Then, if we go some more table on the Holocaust, see everything is taken by Torah codes dot us, and here is what you see. Also very very interesting. You see the verses. The verses, when all these things came, Auschwitz and the ear and all these verses about Sif Necht and so on of the Jewish people, and this is a table, a very, very strong table, as you can see here, the verses which God said, don't be steep necked, God is the Lord of the gods, it means that showing very strong judgment against Jews. And here you have again, you have Auschwitz, you have the Shoah, and you have, again the Shoah, and 
Rosen Engel with Smite, you have the ear from 8 of Shinayin Aleph, unbelievable. From the ear, 701, which is the final solution. And then you have Aleph Hitler, which is Aleph Hitler. So definitely, this is what I found, really, with the addition to what Dr. Kass found. No doubt, all these verses, all these tables, show us clearly that the only way to avoid Holocaust troubles is to keep Torah properly, and unfortunately we know quite well that the rabbis, before the Holocaust, shouted and said the reform who change the Torah, the rest of the Torah will bring, and the German will make this laws in Nuremberg against Jews. So let us really learn from this properly, do tshuva, and then know that Mashiach will come soon in our time.